they updated and changed this this um, spindle, this these uh, that are on the rotation on the MSN MSN um, uh, dot com site because they had the interesting picture here. No doubt, y'all already have um, heard the news that Whitney Houston, um, iconic singer as she was was found was found dead in her bathtub in her hotel room. Now you see this picture right here? Let's see if we can pause this right here for a moment. Let's stop the rotation on this. We should have got the other the other picture actually. Well this is a different picture of Adele. This is a different photo of Adele right here. They had a frontal view where Adele is looking like head on, similar to the one of um Whitney right here, looking head on into the camera. Now, of course the conspiracy theorists and some might want to include us to some degree as well, though we're not looking really for any conspiracy, but something doesn't you know, something doesn't doesn't feel right as they say. You know, you get a gut feeling about these sort of things, when they happen, how they happen, what sort of information or disinformation gets out there, how the story changes. Inevitably, you know, later on, I say inevitably because always in these situations, the story always changes. And sometimes they throw in a little surprise, something totally unexpected. So no doubt we should look for the unexpected in this particular story. So. Here were some of the clips, started to follow this story once I had got up, got online and everything. And what I do sometimes is I'll just take the pictures, right, and take a snapshot of the whole screen. Because these some of these some of these news sites like MSN dot com, what happens is that they is that they change it up. You know, they change up the story, certain stories. They change up other stories, have the same headlines, has the same basic, you know, information. It's basically, that's the story. But then, of course, there's other stories. You understand? There, there are these other stories where it really, where it really changes. It changes a lot from almost minute to minute. Let's just undo this right here and put this picture. This is the latest picture that they put up for um, Whitney Houston announcing that they're going to have an autopsy. So that's the picture that they use on the MSN. Now down here, this this was the first, the first clip, and the good thing is the date and time has been saved as well. So what we're going to do is repaste this in this program right here and I actually was preparing for another lecture dealing with 2012 and and beyond and these are some of the clips here that some of the the word picks that we're going to use so we'll paste this right here and hopefully we'll get into that other lecture concerning 2012 well you know we live in perilous times my people my brothers and sisters this is why it says to watch to be diligent and to render sacred sacred service. Now, this is um let's let's okay, enlarge this a little bit. It says um uh, Houston, okay, pop legend Whitney Houston dies at 48. Now, this was about 12:14 p.m. February 12, 2012 or 2:12 2, or 02:12. 02, 12, 2012. So I guess you can make something out of that as well. You know, February being the so-called second month. Here, the the lead says Houston was pop music's reigning queen. Not she is, but she was right until her majestic voice was ravaged by drug use and erratic behavior. What does that mean by erratic behavior? Drug use, to some extent, ones could probably understand, cracking out and so forth and so on, or alcohol, 
you know, or the gateway drug leading to those, you know, which is, you know, that's the so-called cannabis or marijuana. But to some degree, many of these folks and many folks who do smoke um, marijuana rec- recreationally most likely should not. Only medicinal and sacramental use of the herb should be should be in a righteous world. But that's the world to come. So right here they say Grammy um, tribute planned. You see this right here, Grammy tribute plan. It says Bob Brown, speaking of Bobby, sobs on stage, pre-Grammy gala honors Whitney. Pre-Grammy gala, because they said there was some sort of function that was going on out there, and allegedly it was to honor Whitney. So it wasn't like she was just in town, nobody knew, but they were doing something to honor her already. And then they say Grammy tribute planned. Now, was the Grammy tribute already planned? I mean, look how interesting. There was no mention that, oh, at the 2012 Grammys, Whitney Houston's going to be there. Because in the media, all we have seen is clips, bits, and bites of people perpetually um, making jokes, making Whitney Houston the butt of their jokes. So when people say, well, well, who, who, you, who you think killed her? You understand? The same thing I said with Michael Jackson in, in a video after he was found dead or died or was killed or whatever the situation is. They're charging somebody for that. But still, it's like with Kennedy, we still don't know the story. This is another story right here concerning pop legend Whitney Houston found dead at the age of 48. So they have a Grammy tribute that was already planned. Well, how ironic is this? You know, I mean, and, and how, uh, um, um, what, what, what uh, for, fortunate, not fortunate, fortuitous, fortuitous, that's the word I want to look for fortuitous it is that they already had something planned for her but then there's a pre-grammy gala that honors whitney now just a couple of days ago on tmz tmz and we saw tmz let's go over here back over here for a moment we saw tmz right on tmz a couple of nights ago they had um you know once again making making whitney the butt of some jokes, you know, about how she's messing up, you know, and she can't carry the notes and acting erratic or erratic behavior, so forth and so on. But they got what they wanted. They got Bobby and Whitney to break up because they were two different kind of black people. They're coming from two different, two different black African-American post-traumatic slave disorder backgrounds, Whitney and Bobby. You know, I compared Whitney and Bobby a little bit earlier speaking about this subject with um, Jay-Z and um, Beyonce, even though people seem to take to the Jay-Z and Beyonce much better than the public and even the industry took to Bobby Brown and Whitney Houston's um, relationship and, and marriage. And some of us recall that. In fact, in reasoning about this, I was reminded of some of the things that were going on, even when Whitney started to kind of break out, in a sense, from that, from that um, being made by those who discovered her. She was made by those. Now, let me say this for the record. No doubt, I think Whitney, her her vocals, her pipes, so to speak, were exquisite and excellent. I mean, she's. I mean, no doubt, you have to be deaf not to be able to hear, or and and somewhat heartless not to appreciate love her her music and 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 her her singing abilities. After all, her mother is a Grammy, um, a gospel Grammy um, winner, um, award winner, you know, known in the gospel music. So that's that 
African American spiritual church gospel background that Whitney um I guess they'll say now she broke away from that. You know, she she broke and she went with the bad boy. You know, cuz Bobby was like the bad boy. You understand? And of course, dark in complexion too and a lot of black folks still have an issue, you know, with those matters, although they, in some sense, are trying or being forced by, you know, society, you know, by the changes that are going on. They're forced to kind of, you know, suppress that and and say that doesn't matter. But that was not the case for Whitney Houston and Bobby Brown, but especially Whitney Houston here because um, she – has been found dead in very suspicious circumstances. No, no sort of reason or motive has come forward or even how it has happened. So here we see that Whitney Houston autopsy set for Tuesday. I mean, set for today, excuse me. Let me show you, it's set for today. This is a part of it right here, that Whitney Houston autopsy is set for today. So they're going to have the autopsy on Sunday. You understand? The same day as the Grammys. Now, what's what is what is this about? Is it just that she just was taking a bath and died in the bathtub? I mean, I mean, are we to be like Eve that that this is just what happened, especially on the heels of the fact that TMZ had a, a clip of her where the, where it was joking how she looked all like worn out. She looked like she's getting worse. She's like she need to eat, you know, like give her a sandwich and all. I mean, this is how they were joking about Whitney Houston. Every time there was some viral video of her performing somewhere and, and people upset and they made this front page news along with the other so-called serious global um um, issues, you know, they made her personal musical artistic struggles. They even talked about the fact that she was she was bankrupt, that she was broke. In fact, that's how it came out that she was broke. And this is less than a month, within a month ago. This all now leads up to her being found dead right after. Right, right after they had a a gala, a pre Grammy gala to honor her. Now, the Grammys, the Grammys, the Grammys. What are they talking about with the Grammys? Wasn't they just talking about the fact that um Adele from UK, the UK singer, who many have already been comparing, you know, um, and contrasting with uh, Whitney Houston, that, that she's as good or even better, some say. And you could go out there and see the blogs and the chat on the Internet. It's still out there. You know, once anything's on the Internet, they say it's there forever. So you'll still find all this evidence that leads up to her being found dead. They don't say it's a suicide. They don't say it's murder. They don't say it's foul play. They, they didn't even say that there was drugs found unless these were cleaned up or something like that. But then I found out that she's been dating um, her new boy toy, as they call it, as this, this guy Ray J, Ray Ray, Ray J. You know what I'm talking about, Ray. Yeah, um, Brandy's, Brandy's brother, um, Kim Kardashian's, boy toy, you know, where she she exploded, so to speak, no pun intended as they did that um, softcore kind of porn and everything that went viral so forth and so on. Her career, making money just being Kim Kardashian, you know, moved on and Ray 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 J still remain, I guess, Hollywood's kind of black so-called gigolo doing little bit parts here and there and being seen in the company of various different socialites, actresses, women, so forth and so on. But anyway, we're not saying anything more than that because we don't know anything more than that to really say. But this is one of the elements concerning this story that we need to really scrutinize and look at. Now, they say that details emerge in the death of the iconic singer who, according to TMZ, was found unconscious. They didn't say that she was found dead. Now they're saying that she was found unconscious, right, in the bathtub of her room 
at the Beverly Hilton Saturday afternoon. Isn't this how, how, how ironic? Now, there's a report that Houston's daughter is in hospital. Houston's daughter is in, is in the hospital. This is uh, Bobby Christina, the daughter, her one daughter with um, Bobby Brown, you know. Um, now, here's the interesting thing, and we'll probably go into this at another time. Like we said, we, we didn't really intend, it wasn't our intention to really, you know, um, do a vid on this. But in, as the story is developing and, you know, sometimes you can't help you being connected to the media, you know, hearing the different updates about it and seeing how the story begins to morph and begins to change. And, you know, they'll say one thing one moment and then they say something else and don't even talk about what they said just a couple of moments ago. They don't say, well, before we reported such and such, that, that appears not to be the case. What the case is now, based on such and such and such, is such, no, they just give these different kind of stories from hour to hour, moment to moment, or day to day, depends on how hot a story is. But here there's a report on Houston's daughter. They say that Houston's daughter right here, um, she is in, she's in the hospital. So what that's about, I'm sure, will develop. Um, now, let's just move this right here to, to this picture again. Let's see if they go back to the older picture. Like we said, we should have, we should have, actually, um, we should have actually taken a snapshot so you could see that. Remember, this is only less than five hours. You're like less, less than about five hours after we first got onto the internet and opened up the msn.com, they've kind of added additional stories and they've already changed this picture right here. This picture, they've changed this picture of, of Adele. Now, the big talk has been Adele, will she sing after getting surgery to correct her vocals? How interesting. How did she ruin her vocals? You know, they said that Whitney ruined it with drug use. How many singers use drugs? You know, how many singers, I mean, all kind of, whatever they want to call drugs, let's just call it drugs, including alcohol and, and reefer and marijuana, but, right, for, 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 for the sake of the argument. How many singers, performers, and artists use drugs, whether recreationally, whether hardcore, whether, you know, how, how many, that, that's Hollywood. You understand? Know That's show business, basically. You know, you know, whether they are prescribed or whether they are over the counter or whether they are, you know, um, by other means. But anyway, they say that she ruined her voice or her voice had, had problems, right? Adele. But now she's had a surgery, right? To correct her vocals. And everybody's been asking whether she is going to sing tonight people this is what the, the update right there is at 539 this is about 615 and we don't know whether we're going to even watch it or really not you know look at the highlights later on or or check it out on the internet we might go back and forth and check out a little bit of it you know just to see how they spin this story because myself as well as a lot of y'all you know Whitney Houston her her sound was a part of our lives. Now, whether all the great ones are dying and so forth and so on, I think that's overkill, that's overhype, you know? But we really need to understand some things carefully about what happened to this, this woman here, Whitney Houston, and also what it demonstrates about the, 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 the state of black people and black artists and performers, because remember, she reached a level that a lot of these other artists did not, even though many of the songs that she sung were written by others. You know what I mean? So they had the real rights of the song. She only made money by performing. This is one of the reasons why after the breakup from Bobby, which is also another element, what I think of a, the bigger conspiracy, the breakup from Bobby. I think Bobby and her relationship, though, was not perfect. This would have never happened 
if she was, if Bobby and her had remained together, and moreover, if the media had remained out of it, and therefore people would have also remained a respectful distance away as well. But because they, in a sense, dissed the matrix, you know, they dissed the system, you know what I mean, and basically kind of went off of the grid, you know, they were made whenever possible, made the butt of of every sort of um, kind of they, they go uh, they go niggas, you know, niggas that that are uh, uh, drug addicts, uh, abusers, uh, low lives, you know what I mean. And the only reason is because they decided, in that sense, to love each other and to go through the ups and the downs. And although a lot has been put in the media, Bobby's abusive, Bobby's doing this, and, and, and she's, you know, she's the victim. She even said that, yeah, they have their, she was very honest, very candid about it and about her own participation or initiation in some of these things because we're black people still suffering from post-traumatic slave disorder. Make no doubt about it. You know, one of the things that I wanted to talk about, though I might not do it right here, is the fact that Bobby and Whitney, they had made sort of a pilgrimage to uh, Israel when they, during their relationship and had visited the African, um, the African Hebrews or the black Hebrews, black Jews, African-American Hebrews of Jerusalem.